We've said that the point of the Bible is to know God better. But you can get to know God through worship services and songs, through spending time out in nature, and through conversations with friends. So does reading the Bible really even matter? Think about your friends on social media. You can watch their TikToks and like their Instagram photos, but if you want to get to know them better, you spend time with them. You listen to their voice. Maybe you go over to their house and see their baby photos or listen to stories about them growing up. You spend time with them to get to know them better. And the same is true when it comes to God. God isn't only found in the Bible, but God is found uniquely in the Bible. And since the point of the Bible is to know God better, we read the Bible because God is in it. Now, this is my favorite part. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it says that all of scripture is God-breathed and that scripture is useful and is needed. Now, this action of God breathing is also in another important place in the Bible. In Genesis chapter 2, it says that God breathed life into humans. And when God breathed life into humans, humans became alive. If God's breath brings life, then that means that God's words in the Bible bring life too. So the same God who spoke through the writers of scripture can and is speaking life to you and through you. And that's why reading the Bible is so important. As you read what the Bible says, the breath of God in the text will move your God-breathed spirit to instruct you, inspire you, and challenge you. Getting to know God is a process. Reading the Bible takes time and commitment and intentionality, just like getting to know anyone else. I read the Bible because God is in it, and I want that for you too.